Hi guys, Andy here. Something a little bit different for you today is a PC application, um, and it's well, I think it might mainly be for kind of for devs or other people that do work on their computer, so maybe graphic designers and things like that. Um, and it's called Manic Time, and it basically, and this is going to sound very creepy, and you're going to be thinking, why on earth would I want that? But basically, it tracks everything you do on your computer. Um, let me start off with kind of explaining why. I've got it installed, I suppose, or why I went looking for something like this. Um, for many years, I've been using, well, initially I used Xfire, some gamers might know that, to track how long I played different games. Um, I don't really know why, it doesn't really, it's not important, I just like to know. So I can tell you I've played Overwatch for about 700 hours, it's my second most played game. But I'm kind of guessing at that now because the, the software that x moved on to being, or I think it was basically was AMD bought it out and they had something called Raptor. And that used to track all the different games I played and again measured how long I played them. Um, that kind of ceased to be last September. And quite frankly, I just hadn't twigged that it ceased to be. And then it literally stopped working about three weeks ago. It couldn't log in or anything. So I couldn't even get the information that it had built up over the years. So I was quite annoyed, to be honest. You know, I don't know, maybe it's my fault. Maybe they should have made more effort to say, guys, be aware, you're losing all your data. So poof, all that information vanished. Um, but that got me thinking, okay, well, what else is there out there that tracks gaming time? And again, it's not important. It's just, I don't know why I like to know these things, but I just, I like to know these stats and well, anyway. So there's a few different options. And one of them I came across was Manic Time. So I installed the free version and um, I kind of had it running in the background for a couple of weeks, didn't really look at it much. And then had a bit of a play with it and realized, hey, this is actually quite cool. This is really, uh, gives you a lot of detail on a lot of things. It's also a little scary because, like I say, it's tracking everything. So you go to a certain website, it knows. You watch a video, it knows. It's all listed. You open an application and use an application, it knows. It's, everything's listed. Um, and that sounds a little daunting. But a couple of points, I suppose. One, all the information stays on your own server or your own PC or however you want to do it. I'll come to the server a bit in a moment. Um, and two, you can filter it, so you can tell it to ignore certain websites, um, stuff like that. So you do have the control over it. You can also, if, you, if something does get recorded, you think, oh, I'd rather that wasn't there, you can remove it, you can delete it. So let's, I guess let's get straight to it and just have a look at what it does. It does actually seem a very sort of intricate and complicated, in some ways, uh, bit of software, and the documentation isn't great on their website. And it took a bit of, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where people have tried to use it and they're like, well, you just, I don't understand on what else going on, this, that, and the other. And they, they made very little effort, clearly, to look at any documentation, but the documentation isn't great. And this isn't a tutorial video, it's just a, as I do now, and then I kind of, oh, did you know this was an option? And like I say, for developers or graphic designers or other people that make their living um, doing stuff on their computer, it'd be quite good because as we're going to see shortly, you can build timesheets and stuff, so you can build people based exactly on what you've done. So as we look at the app, you can see I've got three different sort of uh, horizontal columns here. Now you can change that with the cog up here, so you can hide, I could hide the tags one, for example, boop, and it's gone, but I do want the tags one. So again, I've got a computer usage, let's show that one. So this just shows you when you've been away from your comp computer and when you're at your computer. Um, this is my day off, well it's been my week off. And you can see I spend a lot of time at my computer basically. So I just had, that was lunch there. Look at that, it's so so precise. Okay, it's kind of scary and kind of creepy in some ways, but it is just for you. Well, I say it's just yummy, it's shown it on YouTube. Um, hopefully nothing that, let's hide that again, nothing that shouldn't be shown is shown. <laughs> um, Application, so we can have just the applications showing up. Oh no, sorry, they were showing up. Yep, yeah, let's put them back. And the document, yeah, all right. So you get the idea. You get that, and you can change the order that they're in. Now you'll notice the tags one is blank along the top, and we've got down here auto tags. Um, at first, I couldn't really see why there were two, and then for one, the auto tag is only part of the professional version, and it is quite expensive software. It's in the region of fifty pounds for a license. I tell you that right now because that might make you. Oh, do you know, I'm not gonna bother watching this. And if you are just wanting to track your game time, like me, you don't want to pay fifty pound for it. But if you are a professional user, then maybe that's maybe it's a worthwhile expense. Um, 
so with the free version you can tag things yourself so if if you know you've been playing a game from a certain time to a certain time you can you can you can blot that out you can select gaming or you can add a tag through this way here um, I think I can't entirely remember and you'll have to forgive me but I think it still transit applications in the in the free version now the auto tagging uh, that's gonna be the best way for me to show you this so down the bottom here I mean it's still perhaps not the best way of showing you but this is where you get the lists of does it there we go that's a bit better right so um, you can see everything that I've been browsing doing literally everything it's not been much exciting today I can tell you I've broke me shower so I've been trying to get out of plumbers and I've been I spend a lot of time reading the overclocks for me because he more recently I've been using manic time preparing for this video um, I've played a little bit of overwatch look reading overclockers so basically what you would do if you wanted to auto tag something we would right click this add to auto tag so it says anytime it's Windows Explorer um, assign tag and I can either select one from down here or I can create a new one but I can also say well actually and maybe Windows Explorer is a bad example but and websites are probably better I've got yeah so let's go so let's go to this one auto tag so anytime using Google Chrome but then so I do I already have one set up that says anytime it says overclockers can I just get to my keyboard there we go then tag that as OC UK now obviously I don't do that now but so you could put so I've put Udemy in there it's another one that gets tagged as learning um, whatever you want that that's you know that's the freedom of of that option so it's been auto tagging through the day I did you know I did quite a bit of learning this morning what was that from sort of nine ish to <laughs> See, that's what always surprises me. So I don't know that it was random. It might have been learning still. Learning. Maybe not. Maybe I broke away. So I always think I've been doing something for ages. So I thought I'd done loads of learning. I'd done loads of, of Udemy this morning. No, I did like 40 minutes. A little bit at the end there. If that, maybe a half hour. Anyway, so, but it auto tags. As you go, I spent a lot of time on overclockers. Then I just did random stuff. Probably emails, to be honest. Then a bit of gaming. So it auto tags all of that. Now you can. You can manually go through and tag things uh, yourself, or I can just click on this button here, which basically look, copy auto tags to the tags to multiple dates, for multiple dates. So it's gonna go back over the last few days. It then says, fill only the only, which I only wanna fill the young tag time, to be honest. And boom, you see how it's copied it up into the tags. Now, that's a bit more important when we come over to the statistics. So I don't think day duration is particularly exciting. Um, no. But top applications, not a massive surprise. It's Google Chrome. We're looking at this week, my week off. I've spent 21.78 hours this week on Google Chrome. Now, that's not normal because, I, like I said, I've had this installed for, I don't know, maybe it's two weeks. What day went out? Oh, yeah, so about two weeks. All right, so the week before when I was at work, I still had it open for 14 hours. Mind you, this week's not finished yet, has it? Uh, Overwatch this week, eight and a half hours on my week off. That's not too bad. It's not crazy time. In total, 22 hours. Manic time's actually up next just because I've been getting used to it and using it. Power Director, which is what I use to edit my videos. So, I mean, yeah, literally you can just see, oh, that's, that actually is um, Player Knows Battlegrounds. I haven't played that much this week. Then we go to Top Documents. Again, this is where it can be a bit scary. It shows you, so for me, Overclockers, four, four and a third hours this week. You and me on my learning lot, three points. Again, I would have thought I've done loads more than that this week. It's a little bit depressing in some ways. Um, you can also there see the files. What file, Again, so these two are parts of coding. I was uh, I was working on my SQL. Um, that's when I've been making the overlays for the sort of thumbnails for my videos. So again, if you are if you um, are billing somebody for work you'll be doing on their project, it's quite apparent there how much time you spent on them. Uh, when we look at the actual graphs at the minute, we're on a group by day. We could go to group by week, but it looks a bit silly. Bains, we're only looking at this week. I suppose I can change it to this month, and we might get there. We go. What's the top one there? Overclockers, fine. Um, let's come back to this week, and let's change the to billing by day. But we can change the chart type if we wanted, and we can export and all that kind of stuff. And you can do that on most of the different uh, different options on the statistics. So. Here we are on the top tags. So this obviously will group, all gaming will be any games I've played that gets thrown into the gaming. Random surfing is quite high. Oh, yeah, so I changed the I changed the name of surfing. Somehow I've still got surfing as well as random surfing. Random surfing is the newer one that I've labeled. Learning is my Udemy, OCUK look. Um, 
So that's where things get grouped up rather than specific documents or applications. Uh, that's oh no. So the timesheet one is quite important for. So I've, you can see I've got here the report generated. So I can see how much time this week. And I, so I guess I could build somebody if I wanted to know specifically how much time I spent coding. If I type coding in there, generate the report, and there we are. So a bit of a bit on Monday, and then that was all. Um, so that could be, I would have thought, and again, like you can round it, you can, there's all sorts of bits and pieces you can do. So let's enable auto rounding generated again. Did it round up? I think it rounds up always. So a 63 and a, we've got a 63 and a 39, let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, it's rounded. It's rounded, I'm actually both the nearest, so we lost a little bit there, we gained a little bit there. Um, so that, I would, oh, we got a time format, look, can we change? There you go, so you get an actual minutes and minutes and hours if you want, if you prefer. Um, I mean, this is the stuff you can do if you are looking for things that you want to remove. We can go here, we can go advanced search, so we're looking for tags. Now, what was I looking for? Surfing. So it's got all of the random surfing, look. Right, so there's just surfing. So if I wanted, I could select, oh, I thought I could do more than one at a time. I'm sure I have before, why is that not working? Maybe not, okay, so I'd have to do it one at a time, which would be a bit annoying. Tag selected as, and in theory I can change that over, over to existing tag. And it doesn't seem to have worked, or did it, I don't know. But you can delete, so that's only seven seconds, let's try that. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I delete. So you can delete things where you, that you don't like, and that can be on pretty much anything. Applications, auto tags, oh, that's what we were on. Documents, so again, if there's just things are there that you would rather run there, you can delete them, it's not, not too hard. Um, the other thing that I find quite handy, so I've got a server set up, that's obviously my local network, um, Obviously, you can't see the password. It basically means that it logs things from more than one computer. So that's uh, my file server in the living room. Any all this information that Manic Time is recording on this computer is being sent to the my server, my server, nothing on the cloud or in the internet or you know that. It's my own server. So I've got this also set up on my MacBook. Um, I don't think it's as complex. It's not as detailed as it is on the PC. But again, it will just report back. So again, if I'm doing browsing or coding, it's going to report them back to my file server. I think, and I haven't really been able to test this yet. I think if I use it off of my network, I think it still waits until it can connect to that, and then it will push all the information. And what does the server do with that information? I hear you cry. Well, if you browse to the um, IP and port that it's reporting to, you have to log in with your uh, admin details, but then you're met with the dashboard. Now, you see here, you've got everyone on me. Obviously, it is just me, but you can set up a team. So I can see why this could be actually really useful for a business. Um, again, maybe a little creepy because, you, again, you're tracking everything that goes on on your, your team's computers. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's that's a decision for you to make if you're uh, if you're running a team. Because um, you can see that your team is spending a third of their time on the Overclockers website. Maybe it's good stuff they're doing on Udemy, but I don't know. Plum, plum it out. Mind you, I've left that open for most of the morning. Are we doing just today at this point? Yeah. So we can, let's do past seven days. Actual hours, expected work hours. Look at that, the nose overtime. I've got to pay myself overtime. Um, now I'm venturing into slightly scary territory in case I'm it. Oh, so you actually see the PUBG logo in that case. And you can mark different things to some products that are productive, that's quite cool. Um, but again, you can see what you guys are doing. At this point, again, obviously we're doing everybody, well, everybody's just me, but you could have different people listed on there. Um, you can see what websites they've been visiting, um, productive documents, timelines. There's all sorts of sort of handy information that you can see. Uh, Timesheets again there. So yeah, that's where, when you're using the server, which comes with the license basis, so you would need to buy the license to get the server option. Um, so there you go, Manic Time. It is, like I said, it is quite expensive. It's 50 pounds-ish uh, for a license. Maybe that's worth worth it for you. Uh, maybe you've been watching this thing, and Andy, why on earth are you bothered how long you're on Overclockers for, or how long you're on Udemy, and lots of things. 
and I don't I can't tell you why <laughs> I don't know why I just like stats I like to know these things um, so this is actually a really handy really powerful uh, application I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below so please uh, let me know if you think I'm an idiot um, and if you saw anything that you think oh Andy you're really sure you want the whole world to know that you were on whatever website or <laughs> I think I've been a good boy this week anyway um, yeah let me know in the comments down below but for now my name's Andy and I'll catch you all again soon well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there um, also come and have a look at my website androidandy.uk um, there is also a forum come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else just come and have a chat on the forum